Well, hello, Mount Tabor family, and welcome back to another Monday morning devotion as we dive deeper into yesterday's message, as we continued in our churchwide series, The Story of Jesus. And yesterday, we looked at a variety of scriptures, and we talked about three different concepts in relation to our lower story, our upper story, and then our story. And the lower story was the empire of self, how we often build our own empires. The upper story was what Jesus was promoting, which was the kingdom of God, that, that the kingdom of God was at hand in this kind of already and not yet way, where it is already there, but not yet fulfilled in its fullest purpose. And we'll have that when Jesus comes again. And then our story, our response to the upper story invading the lower story, the kingdom of God invading this empire of self, our story was a life of surrender, that we surrender to God and we invest in this thing called kingdom living. Jesus said in his famous prayer, what we call the Lord's Prayer, and was one of your readings this week, and we actually looked at it yesterday. He says, thy kingdom come, or your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, right, on earth, as it is in heaven, meaning on earth may it be as it is in heaven. And the way that we do this for our personal lives, and then the way that we do it to then kind of live out our personal lives, is to surrender to Jesus, to give our life to Jesus in every way, and to make his kingdom our value system, and to stop trying to build the empire of self, and to promote the kingdom that Jesus has inaugurated. And I said toward the end of the sermon, and this is what I want to focus with you on our brief time together this morning. I said toward the end of the sermon that kingdom living or the progression into kingdom living can be um, kind of looked at in three different ways. There's three different steps, per se. The first one is that we, are, we typically start with God give me, right? God give me this. God give me that. This is empire living. Even sometimes when we have good intentions, meaning we want to do the will of God, we're so though fixated on what we want and how we want it, that we say, God, I want you, but give me this. I want this. I want life to be this way. I want this for my life. I want that for my life. And then you move to the next phase, which is God help me. You move from God give me to God help me. And this was in many ways kind of our salvation theme from the previous week. God, this empire of self that I'm building isn't working. Help me. Give me the kingdom of God. Give me new life. I'm trying to do it my way, and it's not working. So God, I've moved from give me this and give me that to just simply help me. And then after you go through that stage, you then get to another stage, and this is where kingdom living just takes off. You move from God help me, God, excuse me, God give me to God help me, and then you start saying, God, use me. Use me for your will. Use me for your way. Use me in the way that you want to use me. Your will be done, not my will. Your kingdom be built, not my empire, right? Your will be done in my life, on earth as it is in heaven. Use me then to promote heaven in this earth, in your earth, in your world. God, use me. And so my prayer for you this week is that you will look to God and stop trying to build any empire that you're trying to build for yourself. Focus on kingdom living. Focus on God's promises. And then say, God, please use me. Use me for your will on earth as it is in heaven. God bless you. Have a great Monday and have a great rest of the week.